is Steph here. Right, now for you regular view viewers, yesterday you would have seen my pen haul video, you would have seen me um, show this, well just show the box very briefly because I thought right I'm going to make a review on that pen um, and as you can see it's a cross fountain pen. Uh, it's got the label there but for some reason it's showing as a roller ball but it's not a roller ball we'll show you that in a moment so here we have it a cross fountain pen let's open the case for you and there we have it the pen inside this green velvety uh, sort of case if you like it's got cross down to the right hand side uh, let's take the the pen to one side if we open that up inside there we've got the cross uh, instructions so it comes in the says hey <laughs> there we go so it comes in a cross case and here's the pen in question an absolutely gorgeous gorgeous pen now I've not shown you a cross fountain pen for many many years and well it was nice that I actually got this one on my travels uh, and to do a review on it. What we've got for you nice and simple is a cross Townsend or a T cross as the uh, actually as they're actually known as. Now in my opinion the cross pens are very very much underrated um, they don't get any sort of air time if you like as other pens and I think that's a it's a crying shame because again in my opinion they're actually gorgeous gorgeous pens very very much underrated in my opinion so as I say we've got a cross sound end fountain pen this one's made in USA the size of this pen capped is around about a hundred and fifty millimeters capped around the barrel uh, just below the cap there it's around about eleven millimeters in diameter let's take you up to the to the cap you can see it's got these two sort of quite large sort of protruding cap bands um, we've got the very recognizable cross clip there and if we just take you to the top there you can see to the very top we've got the word cross written in script now I believe this is an earlier version being written in script because later on the pens uh, the word cross was in capital letters so this may be an earlier pen now if I take you to the very top there, I'm hoping you can see to the very top it reads cross and then just underneath it has USA. So this one was made in USA and then as, as we have in a lot of these cross pens to the very top we've got this little bl black inlaid uh, section to the very top there but a gorgeous pen and that sort of if you look at the bottom here it's just got a nice rounded bottom with this sort of band if you like and I think that helps towards posting posting the cap although you people know I do not like posting caps incidentally talking about bands this band to the very top here I believe indicates that this pen is actually 18 karat rolled gold because they had a couple of different variants there was actually a thin band which this is here there was actually a medium ring which I believe was indicating that it was 14 karat rolled gold and then some of you may know it has a quite a, a thick black section to the top and that would indicate that the pen is 10 karat roll gold so the fact that it's got this thin band here I believe or have read that it's indicating the pen is 18 karat roll gold so all in all as I say a stunning pen 
I know some of you may or may not know most of the cross pens. Um, I mean, basically, they made pens from many, many years ago. They actually specialised in pencils, ballpoint pens. Um, it wasn't sort of till later that they actually got into fountain pens. But because a lot of people don't know about these pens, because Cross, actually, the market was mainly sort of the corporate market. They made pens for large companies, large corporations, etc. But, as I say, you can still go out and buy a cross pen today. Um, the nice thing about them as well, they have a lifetime warranty with them as well. You know, which, which pen manufacturer gives you that? Not a lot. So, let's take the cap off, which is a push, push on cap. Let's give you some different angles of the pen. As I say, these pens, they do not get enough sort of coverage, if you like. So it's nice to be able to show, to show this pen off. Now, these pens, generally, a, they're actually cartridge converters. So if I take the barrel off, you can see this one is fitted with a cross converter. And if we just turn that, there you go. Okay, you can see the plunger in and out there. They also take cross cartridges as well. But I think most people prefer the converter. If we take you up to this section, you can see it's got quite a long section in black. It's got this gold band towards the nib there. And then if we show you the nib, they've got lovely nibs. This one reads, it's got an M, indicating that it's medium, it says cross, 18 carat, 750. Okay, so it's got a lovely gold, 18 carat gold nib. And again, I don't know how true, but I've read somewhere that Pelican actually provided the nibs for these pens. So if that's the case, the quality quality nibs but you can just see by looking at the nib there it's a lovely quality nib anyway so there's the the feed and again I think it applies to the feed as well I think maybe Pelican actually provided not just the the nib but the the feed as well okay so as you can see the pen is in gorgeous condition uh, there's not a lot, well, there's no sign of sort of ink, whether it was actually used or not, I don't think so, but a lovely, a lovely quality made pen. And again, with my large hands and with the pen being a metal pen, it's very comfortable to hold and to write with. Now, because it's got, you know, a new converter inside, never been used... Um, I'm not going to fill the pen, I'm going to leave that to the new owner because what we'll do, we'll find a new home for this beautiful pen. So let's just give it a dip and let's just see how the, the nib actually writes. So what we've got is a 80, 80 cross and this one is the Is the Townsend I don't expect any any flex on the nib but it's writing smoothly Okay, so we've got, as it says, medium line, a lovely wet line as well. And the main thing, it's writing absolutely gorgeous, very nicely and smooth. So, yeah, it could well be, it could well be a Pelican nib. If that's the case, then that's the reason it writes nice and smoothly so there we have it a gold gold filled 
as I say 18 karat gold filled cross Townsend beautiful beautiful pen lovely condition very much underrated and this one will be looking for a new home incidentally if there if the are any sort of cross fans out there I do have a couple of cross pens some roller balls ball points etc if you're interested get in touch but this one as I say will try and find a nice home for it so I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you don't forget leave a comment below subscribe to the channel just down there below give the video a thumbs up if you will please but for now I'm just going to say Slavo Ukraini and from me and this gorgeous pen I'm just going to say bye bye for now